gangsters controlled Harlem's nightlife. They barred black customers and lured white patrons with bootleg liquor. In 1925, Ellington and Greer and a six-piece band they now call the Washingtonians were playing a Times Square speakeasy, the Kentucky Club, when they were spotted by an enterprising song publisher. One day, I went down to a little club, and the boss said to me, uh, Mills, I've got a uh, new band just came in from Washington. Let me know what you think of them. I heard the band, and I knew immediately this is the band that I want to build up for the best black band in the country. And uh, when uh, the Cotton Club agreed to put in a girly show, the manager said, what about the orchestra? And I said, I've got a perfect combination, a small combination, but I will add men and make a 12-piece band out of a six-piece band. and I think it was about four or five bands were auditioning. And everybody was supposed to be there at noon. And we didn't get there till three o'clock. And everybody had been there and auditioned and left. And uh, we came at three and we got the job. And the reason we got it was because the guy who says yes or no, he was late too. Oh, well. Some of the fellows around there didn't have very high hopes for our staying there. The waiters were giving odds on us getting thrown out after three or four days or something like that. And we stayed there five years. 